Coming from a small town middle class family in Gujarat, Dr. Parikh was motivated by his parents during his childhood to pursue a career in medicine. His ambition to achieve success drove Dr. Parikh to continue his education abroad, taking him to England for his post-graduation and finally bringing him to the United States to complete his specialization in allergy and immunology. Uh, Dr. Saab, where did your education complete? Ki? I did my uh, medical school in Ahmedabad, BJ Medical College. Once, uh, then we went, I went to England. I did my post-graduation in England in one of the very prestigious uh, hospitals in England called St. Bartholomew Hospital, which is 11th century hospital. It's a thousand years old hospital. And it's like a Harvard of uh, England. And after that, I came to USA and did uh, specialization in asthma, allergy, and immunology in USA, in New York Medical College, and St. Luke's Columbia program. So when you were in school in England, did you ever think that you just stay there? How America? America, medicine is a little more, much more developed than uh, England. And research and development in medicine in different fields in USA is, is much better than Europe. And to learn that, uh, uh, I decided to come to USA, but I had that nostalgic uh, kind of feeling that I must have uh, that kind of uh, M MRCV, FRCS kind of training where my teachers had. This was, I'm talking about when I was at a young age, I was thinking that way. My focus was that. And when after uh, being in England, fin uh, finished my training, then I decided when I, I mean, of course, uh, in USA, the training is much more advanced, research is much more advanced. So then I decided to come to USA. So did you know childhood that you wanted to be a doctor? Well, uh, childhood se pata nahi tha, lekin, uh, uh, I was always uh, wanted, uh, I like this profession because it's a very noble profession. This is the only profession where not only you make your day-to-day -day living, but you, you help the people. And particularly you help the people, those who are helpless, sick, and, and uh, who needs the help. And I think that's a very satisfying and rewarding uh, quality of the profession. Who motivated you the most? My own uh, uh, physician back home when I was a child, as well as my parents. They always say that in the life you should do something where you help people. And I think that was a good advice and that's how I ended up in uh, being a doctor. Dr. Saab, you are from Gujarat. Se hai. What do you miss about your place of birth when you are not there? Well, I mean, uh, uh, I always miss uh, my place of birth and where I uh, brought up and raised because that place was unique in my personal life because that place taught me a lot of social values, how to respect the elderly, how to respect your colleague, how to, doesn't matter whether you are successful or not, you must see the person according to their point of view, not your point of view. And as long as you, if you do that, everyone is equally equally important. And if you look at the person's uh, that point of view, always you, you, you always respect in the community. And that, that's a real value we learn in our Gujarati family. Perhaps most renowned for social doings, Dr. Park has certainly given back to Mother India by opening 12 new clinics for the underprivileged. His generosity towards India is an example for others and very strongly appreciated by fellow Indians, both here in the US and back in India. Balancing his busy professional and social schedule, Dr. Parikh spends quality time with his family. Sudhir and Sudha, by name, they don't sound too far apart, but Tell me, how have you developed both of you, both personally and professionally? Well, I mean, uh, we, we knew each other uh, uh, right from the college days. Uh, and uh, we came from the same college. Uh, both are physicians, more of the same uh, interest. And that's how we developed, uh, uh, that's how we decided to uh, get married and, uh, I mean, uh, and now because we, we both are professionals, so we both understand each other's uh, uh, busy schedule and uh, difficulties and ha uh, handicap and we work around it. 
Would you say that the you know, you've worked with your wife, you've built a home together, you travel together, you've you've been students together. Would you say that she is the woman behind your success? Oh yes, definitely. I give almost all credit to her. And in what way? How has she been so important? Well, she supported and uh, helped me a long way from right from the beginning. Uh, and during my career, she took care of her kids, she took care of home. And of course, uh, she always, uh, whether sometimes she liked or not, she all participated in all my activities. Dr. Parikh, do you wish your children also choose medicine as their profession? Well, I think uh, they should decide what they like most. Uh, that's the best way to go. But however, if they become a, one of them become a doctor, I think it will be a great thing because it's a very nob noble profession and uh, uh, by being a doctor, I think they can uh, offer a lot to society. And Purvi, what do you think? Do you think you're going to become a doctor or is it too early for you to know right now? Uh, basically choose whichever path I choose as long as like, I work hard and like, try to like, not sell myself short, like try to attain as best as I can. But, and I think I chose it pretty much on my own. Ravi, what about you? Yeah, I'd love to follow in my father's footsteps and be a doctor like him. Even after adopting Western standards in living, Dr. Park has made an exemplary effort by keeping his family closer to their Indian heritage. Collecting rare and priceless artifacts from India, he has given a very Indian feel to his home. Well, we, I always have a dream uh, to make it something, uh, uh, something uh, big and beautiful. Yeah. Where is that dream coming from? Because I came from a very modest uh, background. Uh, with the five brothers and sisters living in an uh, eight by eight uh, room in, back home, studying in the, in the, in, under the tree, real, literally, in the park. We didn't have a space in the house to even study. And that time I, I always wanted, I mean, that time I always wanted to be successful and do something something uh, spectacular and that's how the whole uh, process started. Because I went through such a hardship, so I always dream about, when you went through the hardship, always you dream about uh, uh, something which is most luxurious. This room, the whole decor started, most of the articles in these rooms are from India. And uh, we started with the real doors uh, from Jaipur which is made, uh, which is very beautiful hand, uh, handicraft. Uh, the swing, the doors are from the uh, North, North India. The swing is from the South India. That's uh, made out of thick, solid thick wood. And not only that, but because this is India room, our Indian uh, 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 national bird is a peacock. And so instead of putting flowers in the room, we put a really nice, uh, uh, layout of the uh, peacock feathers. How would Ravi and uh, Purvi, both of you growing here, how do you participate in your parents' enthusiasm for in their social activities or even in their taste for the house? I, I think both of us have been pretty involved in Indian culture since we were very little. I mean, I know a lot of my friends, they can't even speak Gujarati, but our parents raised us like learning English and Gujarati at the same time. So like, it's helpful that we know that that is another like link that connects us. And also we go back to India a lot. And so we like learn a lot about our culture and things like that. When you both go to India and you visit your cousins there, do you find their activities or their, or their culture back home very different from what both of you do over here? No, we find it very similar because most of the Eastern world is getting more westernized now and now because they're becoming more modernized. Yeah, they, they do the same things that we do with our friends. They go to the movies or uh, go shopping or go out to eat. It's very similar. 